There's a cherimoya tree in a backyard. Actually, the front yard that looks like a backyard. But a uh, huge edible garden. I just saw it's in bloom. And there's an important thing to understand about cherimoya when it's in bloom. And that is that it often requires a lot of hand pollination. Um, I'm definitely not an expert on cherimoya. And you can see why. Because <laughs> they just destroy the blossom. But the flower pollen can be collected in a bag by opening up the blossoms and the tree produces much more heavily when it's hand pollinated. I'll try and get an expert on cherimoya to explain. There's a little baby cherimoya fruit. I think it'll grow to be about the size of my whole hand. Again, don't buy cherimoya if you're looking for a lazy way to garden. It is definitely not that easy. But the fruit obviously is very rewarding. One of my most favorite fruits there is is a ripe medium to large cherimoya. Unbelievable quality of fruit.